Hi, I'm Katie Jean, and we're in a little bit of a different space in a cemetery today, though not entirely dissimilar. This is a headstone. Um, it's on a property in Cow Bay, and it actually belongs to Fort Massey Cemetery in Halifax. You've heard me kind of talk about that. But it belongs to a very, very interesting man, a kind of unsung hero of history, a very forgotten underdog of ways. He's a little chaotic, and I love him. His name is Commander John Chain. That's him. And uh, he was in the Royal Navy. Um, he uh, was Breton. He only died in 1902, so most of his career was when Canada was just being born. He, um, I, I call him chaotic because he was a commander in the Royal Navy, and he was assigned um, for the Franklin Expedition uh, to go out and look for the men that were lost in the Franklin Expedition. And he had a theory that you couldn't reach the North Pole by boat, ship, vessel. He said, you need a balloon, because air, airplanes didn't exist yet. Um, you need a balloon to get out there. And they're like, you are nuts, John Chain. And he was like, I am not. And he wasn't. You can't get to the North Pole by ship like the Franklin Expedition tried. Um, it's just, there's just too much ice. If you could get to the actual North Pole, um, I, think, I think the indigenous Inuit, um, everyone from there would have been there already. You're not supposed, you don't, you don't have to go there. Um, but, I've been, uh, I've been trying to dig it out. It, it was up last year. Last year, um, it was above ground and it sunk. John Chain, he, he tried to do his balloons. He toured all over the world. He talked to prime ministers. He was involved with the royals. Like he wanted, he was trying to always get money. Um, to he was always trying to raise money for his balloon expeditions. He was also really into photography. The newest fad, huh? That's never going to catch on. He um, took a lot of photos of the aftermath of the Franklin expedition, which are still looked at a lot this these days. And um, he also was into. Um, the magic lanterns that you could kind of made, make like primitive 3D photos out of. He was all into that. But he died in Halifax. He lived on uh, Roby Street, um, which is, it was close to where the IWK Nova Scotia Archives is now. This printed really badly. I'll, I'll put another one. Um, and I'll put where he lived because Interesting factoid, if you're ever looking at a Halifax address, like specifically Halifax City, the civic numbering changed in the 60s, and there is a converter online you can use. And this is an example of that. I think it's, I can't see it, the print's too bad. I think it was like 132 Roby, which is now like 1152 or something. Anyway. He died at his home in Halifax, February 8th, 1902. He was 75, died of hepatitis. That sounds like a sailor way to go. But he was buried at Fort Massey in 1902. And then in the 50s, Fort Massey started to clear um, an older part of the cemetery for burials, new burials, reusing plots. And like this is news when this guy died. Like this is a, he's a legend. He's a very important person. 
right, like his his funeral was attended. He was a very important man. And apparently the decision was made that his memorial was no longer needed, valid, or if it was broken, you know, there's I can see why you would want to remove a damaged one, but you're supposed to replace it. So the, the Fort Massey, they did it with intention of just completely brazing it um, and building over it pretty much. They, they were just going to put new graves there, which they did. Uh, where Chain is, there's actually a, about five stones in that general area from the 30s. Uh, so you can see where they started it in the furthest corner, right next to the entrance by Queen Street if you're from Halifax. I've been digging them out today, and you can see. I'm going to entirely dig it out along with the 35, 40, 45, 50. I don't, we don't even know now. That's what I'm working on this week is digging out those stones. Uh, but this is John Powell Chain, very important man for some reason not important enough to keep his stone or be written down in history there is a d wolf park but there's not a chain park there should be let's read let's do chain lake but like spell it his way uh but yeah very important guy i, I i'm kind of glad <laughs> um in ways that he's here because he kept exploring even after he was dead and but one thing is this sunk chain never sunk a ship the death record of the day. But yeah, February 1902. I wrote a story on him that I will attach. He's he's a really, really cool guy. I can't get it across right now because I'm kind of, I'm thinking of 75 different things. But look into this guy. He's really cool. And this is his headstone. He's at Fort Massey. Hopefully one day they will be reunited. That is my goal.